As you may have seen in my second to last video, there's no shortage of hazards on Australian roads. Things such as police, potholes, cyclists, the elderly, wankers, the list goes on. But out of all those hazards that I've mentioned, there's one that stands out above all the rest. And of course, that's the topic of today's video, L-Platers. As you know, most drivers in Australia got their license in a cereal box. But due to the fact that passing the learner test takes less effort than walking to the shops and buying a box of cereal, 90% of Australians choose that route. So as long as you understand that red means stop, green means go and orange means floor it, you have more than what it takes to get your L plates. Now most drivers who are on their P plates or have their full license think that it sucks to be an L plater, but that's far from the truth. You see, being an L plater is like being under the age of criminal responsibility. You can do whatever the fuck you want and get away with it. You can go 150 in a school zone, run red lights, rip a fat burnout, play a few games of cyclist bowling, and no matter what happens, as long as you have those yellow L plates up, you're free to go. While we're on the topic of L plates, I'm gonna quickly clear up a common misconception. You see, most people think the L plates stand for learner, but that couldn't be further from the truth. You see, after I got my PhD in Australian driving, I found out that the L plates actually have three different meanings. The first meaning is loser plates. Now to qualify for loser plates, you have to be a special breed of driver. The loser driver is the kind of person who always travels at least 10 k's under the speed limit, clogs up the right lane on every freeway, takes 40 days and 40 nights to complete any turn, drives around with their seat in the position where they're headbutting the steering wheel, and drive around at night with the high beams on, blinding everyone else on the road. Now the worst thing about the loser driver is that they think they're being safe, but due to the fact that they're pissing off every trader who's stuck behind them, they're actually making the world a more dangerous place. But it's not all bad. You see, thanks to the loser driver's shocking driving ability, Businesses such as insurance companies and panel beaters are making more money than ever. If you've ever parked your Mint AU Forte in the Woolies car park, come back 10 minutes later to see every panel's got a dint in it, there's a 50% chance it was either an elderly driver or a loser plater. Loser platers are the sort of people who grow up to drive electric vehicles and wouldn't bat an eyelid when they see a blinker food replacement on the mechanic's invoice. Alright, that's enough about loser platers because I'm getting road rage just thinking about them. The second meaning of L plates is learner driver. Now a learner driver is pretty self-explanatory. They're not a loser driver because they actually know how to drive. Now if it weren't for the L plates, you wouldn't even know these people were learners. But the fact that these people are good drivers doesn't matter anyway, because once Australians see that yellow L, they know it's time to overtake. You see, while the loser driver is a hazard that people avoid, the learner driver is completely different. Due to the fact that the learner driver is completely predictable unlike the loser, you can do whatever you want. As you should know, in Australia, when you see L plates, it's law to overtake. The learner driver could be doing a 180 zone and you're still gonna have to go 110 just to cut him off. Now for any non-Australians watching this video, this might not make much sense, but in Australia, it makes perfect sense. When you see an L plater out on the road, it's your duty as an Australian to cut him off or tailgate. This is an intimidation tactic that asserts dominance. You see, the Australian P plate system works like a hierarchy. Full licensed drivers have to assert dominance over green P platers, green P platers have to assert dominance over red P platers, and everyone has to gang up on L platers. You see, 80% of L platers fall into the learner category, 10 fall into the loser category, and the other 10 fall into this next category. Now this next category of L plater has to be my absolute favourite. Some of you may have guessed it, but this is the legend plater. Now before I get into the legend plater, I have to give you some useful information. While you're on your L plates, you're allowed to drive whatever car you can get your hands on. That can be a Toyota Yaris, Hyundai Getz, or something super sporty like an AU Falcon or a Ferrari. Now this is where the legend plater comes into play. There's actually two types of legend plater. Those who drive sports cars and supercars, and those who drive everything else but have a few screws loose. You see, legend platers see the world as their racetrack. They'll take corners at 100 k's an hour, tailgate like a Ford Ranger driver, rip skids in whatever car they can get their hands on, and forge all their hours. But as I mentioned before, there's two types of legend platers. So first, we'll get into the more boring type. This is the daddy's money legend drivers. 
These are the sort of people whose dad has a Ferrari, Lamborghini, AU Falcon, or any other sort of sports car. These L platers are well aware that they can get away with absolutely everything, so they push it to the limit. Get caught doing 110 in a 40 zone? Just tell the police it's your first time driving a Lamborghini. Get caught red-handed ripping a fat skid on Chapel Street? Just say it's your first time driving a manual and you accidentally drop the clutch. But you see, that's about as far as the daddy's money legend driver goes, because they're probably too scared that they're going to break their parents' car. The ultimate legend driver are those who drive cars such as the AU Falcon, Mitsubishi Magna, or any other shitbox they bought off Facebook Marketplace for the sole purpose of being a learner beater. Now this type of legend driver is the kind of person who never ends up getting their pee plates. Now you may recognize this beautiful face from some of my videos. This guy's name is Darren, and he was named Tasmania's second worst driver. Darren himself was once a legend plater. He got his L's, lost his license about 50 times, and then never got his P's. The reason most legend platers never get their pee plates is because ripping skids became a habit to them and they accidentally did it in their pee plate test. But the vast minority of legend platers actually pass their test and get their pee plates and eventually their full license. Now every single legend plater from the day they get their L plates to the day they lose their license forever follow a strict but simple rule and that is to cause as much chaos on Australian roads as humanly possible. These guys drive around like it's GDA in real life. These people will sacrifice their own car in a collision just to piss someone off. And God help anyone who gets in their way, because they're not afraid to sacrifice it all. This type of L plater will jump in their car with 5 minutes of driving experience, no fully licensed driver sitting in the passenger seat, drive down to Maccas at an average speed of 90,000 kilometers an hour, ride off their parents car or learn a beta, Hit legs, report it as stolen, then when the car gets replaced by insurance, do it all again the next weekend. Now a quick PSA, to anyone watching who's on their L plates, or about to get their L plates, make sure to enjoy it while it lasts. While it might suck to have to have a parent with you the whole time, you can get away with absolutely everything. You could murder someone, and as long as you've got an L plate up on the getaway car, the police will let you off with a warning. Anyway, in the highly unlikely scenario that you actually learned something from this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you'd like to be enlightened by more waffle from the prophet of Yorak Hunt. But before I go, I want to say thank you to these people for their kind donations. I've already spent it all on cardboard drink trays. And if you enjoyed this video so much that you stuck around right till the end, comment W to let me know. Also check out the website and buy some stickers, yeah dogs.